Uh, and then we have the the include this page. This page is we can give a basically overview. So we can type in something, you know, thanks uh, for your business. I'm just putting something in there so we can see it on the PDF and see what that page will do. But you can give basically an, an intro or you can not include this page if you so choose. So you have another page that you can uh, format for it. And then by default, we have the profit and loss report and the balance sheet. And those are our major financial statement reports, of course. And so then we can add another report here if we so choose, and we can edit these reports as well. Edit the report title, uh, uh, compare the previous year, compare the previous period. So we can actually do some default editing within here uh, on these reports but we might want to make our own memorized reports and then pull them in here, right? Is the general idea is what I'm thinking. And then you have your end notes. So end, so I'll just say end notes. And then if we don't want this end page for our closing comments, we can mark off the thing as being included, include uh, a breakdown of sub accounts. So I'll leave that as the default. Let's go ahead and save it. And then if I say that we want to then look at a preview, so we have the cancel, we have the print and preview, we have the advanced items here, and this gives us the, the report. This is telling us the report end date. So that's that thing that's going to pull in the report end date. When you see that there in company name is going to, whenever it says company name, it's going to pull in the standard company name of the company. You might be able to change that here if you want something different in the standard company name you've got your header you've got your footer and then show only non-zero rows and columns i would rather adjust this part on the reports themselves and and customize the reports which i'll take a look at in a second so there's the advanced settings and then we could save it and then you've got the save as export the document send and so on let's go to the preview and take a look at it. So now you get this nice little title page. There's not a whole lot of change you can do to this, but it looks a little, a lot nicer than possibly just sending out an email with a bunch of uh, reports tied to it, especially if there's a long list of them. Then we've got our table of contents. And then we have this page, which was an intro page, which you don't necessarily have to put on there. But if you want the intro page, you can put a, light, a nice little introduction here. Then you've got your profit and loss. You can see it's formatted a little bit differently uh, on the formatting, uh, but it's pretty nice formatting. And then we've got the balance sheet. And then we've got the end notes, which again, this is a page that you can remove if you wanted to, if you so choose. Now I'm actually going to change the report to, uh, to a custom. Let's do or last I'm going for last year. So let's do, let's do, see what happens with a custom report from 01, 01, 2, 3, 12, 31, 2, 3. And so I'll run that one and save it. And so now we have for the period ended December 31st. So given that, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to imagine that we make a, a few reports up top. Let's go back up to the balance sheet and we'll make our, our couple. Actually, let's go back to the first tab go into our standard reports and I'm going to go into the summary, the summary balance sheet summary, uh, this one, right click and duplicate or open <laughs> and a new tab. And then I'm going to close this out. Let's just do our standard formatting here. I'm going to bring this back from 010123, I'll run it to refresh it. And then I would like to customize this report and go into the negative numbers bracketed and i'm going to make it red without sense and then uh the headers and footers i'm going to take off the report time period and report basis and then i'm going to run it and so there we have that and then i'm going to save customization and i'm calling it number one and i'm going to put this into once again a new group which I'm going to say is we did this last time. That's why I'm doing this fast. I'm going to say this is going to be a group of month and reports. And so I'm going to add that. That is now in the dropdown and save it. 
If I go back to the first tab, go into my customizations, refresh, then this one should show up. There it is. Let's do a couple more just so we have some material to work with. Let's do our standard balance sheet now. So we're going to say the standard balance sheet, customize it. And I'm going to say, let's do our standard, no pennies, negative numbers, bracketed, red headers and footers, get rid of the date, time, report, basis, run it. And then I'm going to save customization. And I'm going to call this number two report, number two, and then put it into our group month end reports, save it. So now over here, I'll refresh it. And there is our second report back to the right. I'm going to do it again. This time, let's do a comparative report for the end of this. So I'm going to say 11, 01, 2, 3. Uh, no, let's do 12, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to compare it to the prior period.